Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and today I'd like to talk about the affordability of decent watches. And I gotta fucking tell you, I gotta tell you, it seems to me that watches themselves there, decent watches, are getting so fucking expensive. They're so fucking expensive. And I was looking at some other channels, and uh, I don't, I won't mention them to protect the guilty, but um, one of the commentators was, was looking at getting a, a GMT uh, wristwatch, a Pepsi, and they're fucking expensive. I, I can understand that completely. That's a, that's a fucking dear watch. It's expensive. It's, it's a lot of fucking coin. And I got to tell you, fuck me, Dad. You want to buy yourself a, a Submariner? Um, you want to buy yourself, e even an Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon, you're looking at fucking thousands of dollars. These are fucking expensive pieces. And uh, especially Rolex Sports. Oh, that, you know, besides the the uh, the, uh, the Explorer 2, which is still fucking dear. You're not going to get one less then what, what, four US sort of thing, three and a half, four, that, that's, that's a lot of coin for a lot of guys out there. It, it's, it's a lot of coin. And um, th this, is, this is the whole reason that mid-tier watches have really flourished. Something for a thousand bucks, something under two grand. And um, I got to tell you, it, 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 it's, these watches are getting fucking expensive. Now, I know you can go back in history and say <coughs> a Rolex was a couple hundred dollars. Well, hang on a minute. That's that's that doesn't take into account that the average wage was so much lower then. But how many average weekly wages did you need to buy a Rolex then compared to now? And I think it's a lot more now than before. These watches are getting expensive, and the other problem is, is that we've all become a nation of collectors. We don't want one. See, in the old days, you'd have one. You'd save up, and you'd get your one watch. My boss I used to work with at KBR, he had a uh, Rolex plastic sea dweller, and he saved. He thought about, oh, what do I get, an Explorer? Oh, he wanted the sea dweller, plastic sea dweller. And he, uh, 1665, he, he paid it off in installments. That's what he'd do. Every week, he'd put a little bit of money, go into the shop, here's another installment, here's another installment. He paid via installments until he paid it off. And uh, this day and age, things don't work like that anymore. It's um, instant credit. We've put it on a credit card and... It gets us into big financial doo big financial problems. If um, jobs are fucking, you get retrenched or something goes wrong or, you know, something goes wrong in the car and this and that and fuck, fuck, we're in big trouble. And um, I got to tell you, wristwatches are expensive. They are really expensive critters. But what I can say to you is you're better off to have one really good watch than half a dozen shitters and um i um i just i just gotta say this you know it, it's the struggle it is fucking hard i mean middle class america middle class in the western world is being squeezed we're being squeezed squeezed fuckers absolutely squeezed into out of fucking things it's fucking hard to survive weekly bills everything every i love the way this happens wages don't your wage doesn't go up but your insurance costs go up every year even though your car's getting older health insurance goes everything is fucking going up and up and up and um it's damn hard damn hard to to get the coin for decent stuff i mean Rolexes themselves now. What do you spend for a decent, you know, Submariner? They, they, they are cheap. A, um, a GMT. All of these things are fucking. E e even the so-called Explorer Two, the dog of the sports range. They, they're not super cheap either. They're fucking. You need some real coin, real fucking coin. And um, I gotta say, it's it's getting it is getting hard. The quest for luxury watches 
is getting harder and harder as time goes on. And uh, it's very much becoming a rich man's hobby. It's becoming a rich man's hobby. And uh, I, I don't necessarily think that's a great thing. It's just... It's just the changing dynamics. I mean, in the old days, I mean, a bloke could have a, a date just, a snow date sub, an explorer two, and maybe, uh, you, you know, he can have some, some decent pieces. Now, fuck, to get one watch, one Rolex is fucking an achievement. It's an achievement in, in itself. And um, I, I really think, I really do sympathize with the viewers out there who, who want these pieces. It's fucking hard it's hard and uh all i can say is that is is consumerism being what it is it forces people into buy a more affordable options but wait it out wait it out fuckers wait it out that's my advice there and uh it's it's good to 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 sort of um get the really good watches in life archie luxury talking about the facts of life. Tell me what you fuckers think of that.